Good morning. It is actually morning today. Uh, I have three groups here. These are beans that I picked off because they're starting to ripen. I'm going to take a look at those. These are plants that are dead or dying but have um, live beans on them, beans that are starting to ripen. And this last one, and the first one that we'll look at, um, has holes in it. So um, I pulled, pulled it open, and the beans are ripening well. This one does not appear to have any, any holes in it. I can do this. Okay, this one has a hole in it, so let's set that one aside for a second. This one also appears to not have a hole in it, so we'll put that in the first group. Um, whoops! Uh-oh. Dropped one. That one has holes in it. And these... Let's take a look at these two. This one has holes in it. Let's set that one aside. And this one has no holes, so we'll set that in that group. So it looks like half of them have holes in them. And it looks like, it doesn't look like those, I'm not going to keep these three beans with the holes in them, but it doesn't look like those holes are deep. It looks like it's surface damage. Let's take a look. It doesn't look like that has gone all the way through into the bean itself. This one, it's just surface, or appears to be just surface, but I still don't want to use those beans because they might have the insects in them. Okay, so that's the first group. The second group is these, which I picked off. Um, they are starting to ripen. The pods are turning yellow, and I want to see what we've got here. Okay, it seems to be a pattern. These beans, uh, where's my hand? These beans are all the same color as the others that were ripening early. Okay. These all came off different bushes. Okay, this one appears to be a white. And this one Again, a pink. This was in a batch of 15 bean soup. So my guess is that those pink ones are um, okay, my brain just died. My brain is always dead, but um, kidney beans. Okay, so we'll set those aside and then this next group um, let's push, put these aside. These plants are dead or dying. These were part of our cold tolerance test. Uh, they were planted in February, and they have gone through some severe cold weather, and they're, they still produced. So I'm going to open these up. Let's, let me get it over here and clean it off a little bit first. None of these seeds will be eaten. These seeds will be adaptation for next year. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. So pull those beans off. All right, so let's take a look at these beans. See what we've got. Okay, it does look like in this case it does look like a kidney type. But these are completely dried down and those are not. All of these should be identical. If they are not identical, I'm going to set them aside. Okay, yeah, all of these came off of the same plant. They are identical beans, which is great. Okay, this second one, if I can find, if I can see where I'm going. Okay, this second one is also dying, um, and the beans are starting to dry down. Again, this one has wormholes in it, so let's take that one off first. 
see what we've got in here. It looks like we have two beans. This one appears to be, can I see the, where is it? Okay, this one appears to be a striped bean, not a plain bean, which makes sense from the coloring of the shell. We'll put that one there, but this one, is that the one? I saw it. Yeah, that one. This one has, where's my hand, has severe bug damage. So we're going to put that over in the garbage pile. All right, there are two more on this plant. And I would suspect that they would all, because it's, un, it's not ripe yet, um, I would suspect that they would all have the stripe or be just plain white. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So here's the bean. And the stripes are starting to develop. You can see that just a little bit. They'll be darker when they're completely ripe. And this is the last one. There it is. And again, same thing, same plant. Okay. So in this group, it looks like we have a combination of red. Um, I'm assuming that these um, pink ones will turn red. Um, it looks like we have a combination of red, white, and striped matching this, matching their uh, shell. Okay, so, and then we have an unwanted visitor. I don't know if you can see that. That apparently came out of one of the beans, so um, he is going to go to the great compost pile in the sky, but that's what we've got so far. Now remember, these beans were planted in February. They survived to this point, and they survived to produce. <coughs> so these few beans, it's just starting to get hot. And I want, I will be planting these beans, the things that, that survived and ripened before the main heat. I will be planting again next year, planting preferentially um, and planting also early, just like I did this year, um, in the hope that I will develop a cold tolerant early bean that produces before the main heat of the season. So that's... Um, that will be my goal for this particular group. Um, I will leave the other beans in the ground. I'm not going to pull them. Um, but also, they're not getting any water this year. So whatever survives and fruits and thrives this year, especially through the heat and then produces in the fall, again, will be kept as a separate population and will be kept, um, will be planted so that I can maintain those genes and hopefully expand to a variety of, a variety of dry bean that will thrive in the heat. I'll talk with you later.